One of Ontario's best kept secrets is 45 minutes outside the big city in the commuter suburb of Whitby. Butchie's is a little taste of down south, up north. They've got a killer menu featuring ridiculously juicy pork shoulder and perfectly crispy fried chicken wings, plus all the soulful side dishes you're craving. Let's dig in. Um, plus three combo. How did you discover this place? Driving by, stopped in, and, and got lucky, pretty much. Hit the lottery. Where you can bring your family, but you can also come for a nice glass of beer with some barbecue. It's miraculous that you yeah. could come and get this awesome food, and every time, it's perfect. Here at Butchie's, the menu reflects how Andrea Nicholson likes to eat. Her meat plus three, inspired by barbecue houses in the southern U.S., pairs one perfect main with three mouth-watering sides. And it's won her countless awards, including best restaurant and best chef in the region. Family style? Yes, we're having the smoked half chicken and the smoked pork shoulder, and you gotta have the sides. It's a unique experience, so if it's not on your bucket list, it really should be. Oh, that mac and cheese got a little kick. <laughs> oh. The smoked pork shoulder, what's that like? Oh man, it's a little bit of heaven. It's got the best smoke ring around it, and it's honestly my favorite thing here. I think they smoke it for 18 hours. It's so crispy. The rub on the outside is delicious and moist on the inside. That's for a what is the first dish we're going to make today? Our smoked pork shoulder. It's simple food, but when you eat it, I want you to be like, damn, that's really good. I'm going to like today. So what's the first step? We need to make the brine. Hot boiling water. Yes. The reason for hot water is that so the salt and the sugar dissolve. This is kosher salt, granulated sugar, bay leaves, and then ground black pepper. It's all dissolved. We're going to cool it down. OK. Ice. And yeah. then we're going to take some cold water. Okay. That's good. So now, this is a bone-in pork shoulder. The reason why we leave the bone in, bone means more flavor. Okay. What we're doing right now is really just injecting it with moisture and salt. Yeah. And this bath gets put into the fridge for 24 hours. It's ready to go. So now we're going to take our Butchie's House Rub. Yes. Give it a good rub. And this is a combination of a lot of different spices, some sweet, some heat, and some savory. Perfect. I'll flip her. And then we want to then go with another hard round. Look at this teamwork. Good stuff. Now, will this help develop a nice bark? Look at you. Barbecue terminology, yes. So the bark is essentially when meat smokes, and then the meat starts to caramelize. That's like the best part of it. It is the best yeah. part. Yeah. So now we're going to take this pork shoulder. We're going to take it to our smokers right in the middle. I'm going to say, see you in 18 hours. OK, bye. bye. We don't have to wait 18 hours. No. Why? We've already got one smoking. Oh, nice. Okay. So we're good to go. I want it! Let's go eat this thing. Let's do okay. it. We go into this super tender pork shoulder, some of that bark. Thank you. We serve our homemade pickled onions with it. Hush puppies. <laughs> Those are massive. Our mac and cheese. We also finish it with a brown buttered breadcrumb. Oh, man. Say that three times. Brown buttered breadcrumb. Can we do one more? Brown buttered breadcrumb on our smoked pork. That guy goes there. I want our... more things. These are our caramelized Brussels sprouts. So here it is, our smoked pork shoulder. I'm so excited. Eat it. Happy dance. It's so damn good. Yeah. The pork is just so tender, and the bark is just perfect because it adds that extra little bite that you get from it. Oh my god. If this meat plus three isn't on the top of the bucket list, I don't know what is. Oh man, I love these Brussels sprouts too. Right? Yeah. I love it. What did you order today? Got the country fried steaks, got the bacon gravy on top. I love that your mashed potatoes, they have a little divot, and then there's like a pool of butter. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to dive right in. Straight right? in. Straight in. What are you having today? I'm having buttermilk fried chicken wings. Oh, they look incredible. It's like real soul food. Hits the spot every time. This is the best. It's so crispy, double dredged every time. Oh, and you can hear it, too. <laughs> Andrea, I was out there in the dining room, and I saw these incredible wings. Yes. I want those wings. These chicken wings have become one of our most popular items. They started off as a special, yep. and they've naturally progressed onto the menu because customers are outraged when we don't have them. <laughs> outraged. Amazing. Show me how you do. What's going on? Farm-raised chickens. You want to sprinkle some rub on those? Of course I will. 
Just a little dusting, that's beauty. So toss them around like that. Yeah. So they're fully coated. Yeah. We take some buttermilk. The enzymes in buttermilk will actually break down the protein and make the chicken wing more tender. Dredge them the first time, dip them, and then back into flour. Wet, dry, and then fry. The old dry, wet, dry fry. <laughs> Does it make for like a nice crispy chicken wing? Yeah. yeah. I like this. Out of the flour and always what? away from you. We're at least eight to nine minutes. They're in. And you wait. Key to knowing when a chicken wing is done, when they actually float. Oh, really? Yes. Chef tips. They go into a bowl. Okay. Don't be shy of seasoning. That's really important. Okay, they're done. We stack them up on the tray. That's a lot. Yes. We serve them with our homemade hot sauce. The first side is my grandmother's Baba's cucumber salad. Yeah, yeah. Green beans, and our green beans are crazy popular too. Who doesn't love a deviled egg? These are our buttermilk fried chicken wings with three sides. Oh my God, it's so good. It's so crunchy, it's so tender, and you get the tang from that buttermilk. Yep. That's what makes it a perfect fried chicken. And so crispy, that double dredge, you just kills it, it's oh, so good. You, do you want a deviled egg with me? Sure. Cheers it. Cheers it, why not? Cheers to you. Cheers to you. Mmm, <laughs> creamy, delicious. There's no question this is a bucket list dish. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs>